Johannesburg is the Kate Moss of cities. Exceptionally beautiful, she captures the imagination, draws you in, she inspires, she photographs well, but she has a dark, dirty, sordid undertone. She's party too hard. She's lived the good life. She's seen the bad times. She's hit the highs, and she's intimately well acquainted with the lows. She may be a little rough around the edges, but she has exceptionally good bones. She's got class and loads of character. Like Kate Moss, Johannesburg has that glint in her eye that keeps you riveted. She's been written off as a has-been, but she's clawed her way back, and she keeps you begging for more. So what is it that makes the city so appealing, this rapidly expanding, morphing, shifting, vibrant city? In her short lifetime, she has witnessed change and uncertainty which belie her youth. Perhaps the appeal of Johannesburg lies in her unsanitized authenticity, her grit, the spirit of downtown. For someone who grew up in the motor car bound suburbs, one of the most exciting things about Johannesburg is the fact that it's a completely authentic, walkable, urban environment. So what is it that makes the space authentic? Authenticity comes from various urban aspects. Historic buildings, established neighborhoods, local culture. These factors are abundant in downtown Johannesburg. The juxtaposition of street vendors and international institutions. Urban grits alongside renovated buildings. Bankers and yuppies sharing the same pedestrian space as milli sellers, frantic shoppers, and mothers pushing their babies in wheelchairs. An authentic place offers unique and unexpected experiences. The city is a multicultural and historical area and provides a backdrop for interaction between people from very diverse segments of society. It's a truly democratic civic space. But what can we learn about place activation from truly dynamic world cities like New York? Certainly that city has its share of iconic buildings. The Empire State and Chrysler are probably some of the most recognized structures on the globe. But what is it that makes New York the city that it is? It's the network of bustling streets, creating an urban theater of new experiences, connecting dynamic civic spaces and downtown interactive nodes. Beautifully designed urban parks and squares form the civic living room of the American metropolis. Washington Square, Rockefeller Plaza, Lincoln Center, the built reality of every new urbanist's most expansive dreams. Cities are not solely created through built density, but rather through the creation of sustainable, safe public space. The American urban, urbanist Jane Jacobs says, think of a city and what comes to mind. It's streets. A city is not simply a collection of buildings created in a void with leftover public spaces as the, as the areas around them. The streets are the main public areas of a city and they also are the arteries that sustain the city's life. Streets are a spiritual entity, not simply the residue between buildings. So downtown streets in Johannesburg, like the redeveloped Main Street Mall, have brought life back into the CBD. Streets are not sterile and fake, unlike Santon, where form follows only finance and roads were designed specifically for cars. Downtown streets are social spaces, community nodes, explosions of color, energy, and daily interaction. Main Street Mall, at the heart of the financial district, has been upgraded and widened with New York-style um, pavements, which provide space for pedestrians, coffee shops, and urban greenery. The streetscape becomes an urban theater. Each user of the space plays their vital role in the unfolding daily city dialogue. Main Street Mall has spurned the reemergence of downtown cafe culture. Office workers desk bound for decades, once too afraid to explore the city beyond their access controlled um, office blocks, have ventured back onto the streets. Secretaries on smoke breaks, coffee shops, convenience stores, shoppers, and scores of pedestrians, creating a city node alive with an activity and interaction, a sustainable space made safe through use and activity rather than through access controlled booms, razor wire, and electric fencing. Continuing the trend of new urbanism and city reactivation, FNB First Place has recently transformed from a cold, inhospitable, leftover wasteland between office blocks into a vibrant green community heart and the center of Bank City, 
providing a much needed urban oasis in this densely populated office node. The most delicious pears you will ever taste are sold by a lady just outside the Anstey's building. The best coffee east of the Hudson River is brewed daily at Kramer's on Main Street. Discover the city, walk the city, try new things, explore without permission. Johannesburg extends past Mabinay. New, <laughs> <laughs> new and authentic experiences are waiting to unfold just south of Nelson Mandela Bridge. Not one to play by the rules, South African fashion designer David Flale previewed his autumn 2013 collection on the steps of Johannesburg City Hall. Flale could have plugged into what others had already pioneered, hosting his fashion event in the relative safety of Mabineng or Bramfontein, but he chose a completely authentic downtown space, the steps of City Hall, a completely unique location. More important though than the location, Klale's event reactivated disused public space, bringing activity and life into the city and bringing it there at night. This could only happen downtown. Civic activation is something we should all strive to pioneer, and it's certainly happening. Urban arts platform events, neighbor goods, market on Main, guerrilla green parking spaces happening in Bramfontein today. Rap jumping at Anstey's, critical mass, nights of a thousand drawings, thousands of shoppers, bankers, students, tourists, all part of this daily discovery. People wait for elections, mistakenly thinking that they can change their cities with a vote. No political structure will ever activate Johannesburg. The city belongs to each and every person in it. Explore your city, walk its streets, sample its flavors, feel the grit, taste its diversity, activate public spaces. It's what Kate would do. You pioneer civic reactivation. You create sustainable, inclusive urban communities. Own it, walk it, activate the urban metropolis. All roads lead to the city of gold, and you make Johannesburg great. That's it.